everyone, this is Chaitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau of Aviation and Defence Universe, reporting live from Defence and Security 2022, Bangkok, Thailand. We are on day two, and I'm privileged to have with me Mr. Rudra Sriram, Joint President of DCM Sriram, and Brigadier Monish Datta, who is a business head with DCM, uh, DCM Sriram. Welcome to our chat show. Thank you so much for your time. And we begin today by asking Rudra. So, how has been your experience these last two days at Defense and Security 2022? Yeah, it's uh, been pretty good, Chetali. It's a nice, uh, compact, to the point show. We've got a very good response for the products that we're showing, and uh, everyone here means business. This is the center of the ASEAN uh, defense industry in our perspective, and uh, we look forward to a couple of more days of positive interaction. Right. So you are with companies like Brahmos in, a, in the Indian Pavilion with Brahmos with LNT. How has been it with the response from uh, the, for, uh, the, uh, the local companies here about you being an MSME and the already established companies? How has been the... Well, we're uh, not an part? MSME, we turn over half a billion dollars. So oh, I don't really great. consider us an MSME, it's just a new venture for us. Right. And uh, the product lines are very different. You know, products that uh, Pramos and LNT work on are very G2G level products. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are more in the B2B space and uh, being a new venture for us, uh, having even a footprint in this uh, industry at this level in the ASEAN, ASEAN market is uh, something that we look forward to have a very good response from. We know our products are capable to provide good solutions even in these conditions over here. So we look forward to you know interacting more and getting, giving more feedback and uh, probably even picking up some orders from these areas from this fair. Great. So from you, I would like to know, what are the specific products that you've got here for this market? Uh, what we got over here is basically our drones, uh, which are in the small category. We are presently only displaying our drones. However, our uh, products also include, uh, include uh, armored vehicles as well as containers for defense purposes. So we've got all the three products uh, which we are you have your competitors for these specific products as well from the Western companies that are being that are here. So, how do you plan to compete with them with the, in this show? Our product has run as uh, you know, we can always say uh, it's a new product, it's state of the art, it's new technology. Uh, by and large, people are sticking to the old ways of manufacturing. We've gone into uh, new, new forms of manufacturing uh, and we are uh, looking at uh, giving a better solution to the customer. So we are uh, basically eyeing our product as a niche product which has got uh, better capability than the standard run of the product. Coming back to products again, Yesterday, sir, uh, the High Commissioner of India and Thailand, Ms. Mrs. Suchitra Durai, she was here and uh, I was following her during her visit to, the, to all the booths and she was pretty keenly interested in your products. So, may I know uh, what was the interaction that you had with her? So, uh, what uh, she is looking for is that uh, she is looking at uh, you know, developing an Indian product market for Thailand and uh, also be a hub for uh, other ASEAN countries ex pilot and she was trying to say that how they can promote our product in Thailand as well as uh, she can uh, facilitate our product for uh, the other countries in this region and uh, also she was uh, wanting to know if we can uh, use certain component manufacturers in Thailand for our product and how can she facilitate uh, development of uh, in Indo-Thailand type of Back to you, Rudra. Before she started the tour, I saw you all had a very good interaction, a meeting of all the companies which are exhibiting here, sitting with a round, like a roundtable conference here. And it sounded very promising, a diplomat speaking to the industry directly. How was the meeting and what do you think this time the diplomacy is going, the diplomats are going to help industries like you to establish yourselves in a foreign country? I think the diplomats in foreign countries play a very vital role 
in uh, the setting up of an integrated relationship, of a business relationship or of a diplomatic relationship uh, between two countries. Um, bigger than the main diplomat's role is the role of their uh, defense attaches and commercial attaches. And particularly in the industry we're talking about, the defense attaches play a very vital role in you know, determining the success or not at that point success of a relationship of a business level in the strategic sense that we're present right now. The DA being in the country that they are in um, knows the pulse of the country and the pulse of the nation and that provides a lot of information to companies like ours to be so short of uh, what we are either investing in or what type of relationship we are setting up. So, <coughs> I'm very happy for the interaction yesterday. Um, uh, Brigadier, uh, sorry, uh, what was the interaction? Group Captain Paul uh, will, will play a very vital role uh, in the establishment of any of the companies over here in the Thai market and vice versa. And you know, facilitate uh, these kind of micro-level B2B connections for all scales of industry. Um, it's not only about, you know, very large scale, it's even about the smaller players and the smaller companies who join us from India at this India Pavilion. So continuously, the defense attache, along with the support of the top diplomat, will play a vital role in any establishment of business between the two countries and growth of business between if I may ask, uh, how many uh, how many times you have received such kind of uh, cooperation from the diplomats or bureaucracy? In, uh, I think uh, it's not about them reaching out to us; it's about us reaching out to them. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't expect the diplomat, uh, sorry, the diplomatic uh, channel to be always pushing you know companies to the Indian industry. Um, I feel that if you find interest in some country, you can very happily reach out to the Indian diplomacy or the Indian diplomats posted over there. And I can tell you that we are all doing this for the betterment of our country and I have never seen a problem in this regard. So yes, there will be times that you know they reach out to us saying that there's a demand of a certain product or a partnership is to be created of a certain product in a particular country. Or if you identify a product or a you know company in some country, it is your job as Indian industry to utilize the channels of the diplomats. And I can tell you, you will always find uh, them welcome you with, wel welcoming you and your company with arms open and provide as much support as they can, keeping in mind the governmental relationships. That's a very positive response, uh, Rudra. I mean, very positive and very promising as well. I'll be surprised if anybody has any negative uh, response. Mm. Many people just don't do it. Right. They just don't reach out, you know. It's, yeah. it's all about just doing it. Exactly. Yeah. So now we are at the backdrop of next year's defense and security. So the question to you both, where does where do you see yourself next year if you are at defense and security 2023? Um, hopefully next year we come up with more sophisticated product lines and some more uh, uh, actual orders under our belts which um, gives us a lot more credibility. Can we talk some more about it if you have something in the pipeline? No. Okay. Uh, unfortunately I cannot. But uh, we have a lot in the pipeline, but I can't tell you with what and why and where. Uh, but we hope to be coming back with a lot more credibility. And we take the feedback of the ASEAN market from here and come back with a much more integrated and suitable platform uh, for their particular requirements. Not that we don't have it already. That's great. Thank you so much, both of you, for giving your time here. And definitely we look forward to have you again in the same show next year in 2023 with, as Rudra said, with more credibility and more new things that you have in pipeline. Thank you so much and Thank hope you. Uh, you have very fruitful days the next two, three days here and all the best from our Thank side. You.